Hey guys, this is Meta Master Twenty One, and um, yes, uh, I am here with uh, Alvarito today, and uh, we're going to be uh, discussing the No Man's Land uh, world record that is uh, held currently by uh, Wings of Oblivion. And um, in his video, he got uh, 378 kills, and uh, we are gonna tell you our opinions about uh, whenever we think it's legit or not, and uh, uh, some proof that uh, you might not see as an average uh, No Man's Land player or the guy who just plays zombies in general and don't know the stuff that we do as um, we play this uh, No Man's Land uh, pretty hardcore, me and Alvar and um, of course Steve as well. So uh, if you watch the video closely, there's nothing really wrong with it. Um, I mean, the guy got 378 kills um, at the end and everything just seems like uh, really fine. But just to mention at the start, um, the guy got 310 kills, that was his highest uh, legit score before and he didn't post any any sort of update. Like let's talk about 350 kills, 3, 360 kills, any of that, he just pulls like 378, there you go guys, world record straight away without any updates. If you look at the start of the video, the guy uh, doesn't even know if it's Speed Kula or if it's Juggernaut when uh, the perk machine appears either has to come all the way um, downstairs um, so the guy see if it's Juggernaug or not and uh, me, Steve or Alvar always knows when it's um, going under the roof if it's a Jug or Speed Cola. But that's, that's just a minor thing and nothing really important but um, also the start, um, how he starts his game, he doesn't really try his best to get uh, as many kills as he uh, could get, he's not trying to jump through the lake for example he's just walking maybe he's just bored or I don't know but um, that doesn't look um, very promising for a 370 plus kill game because everything has to be perfect to get 370 plus even it's really hard Alvar can confirm this yeah okay let's let's just say he wasn't in the mood so he just played a little bit lazy uh, but Another another thing that confuses me is the the play style, how he plays. It's not really suited for 370 plus skill game. Um, like if you look, he gets the hordes really slow. Like he hordes them up really slow, and uh, then he doesn't even get the tied horde. And Mustang and Sally works uh, the way that. Uh, when you shoot in the middle, in the center of the splash damage, there is the most damage and you get the less damage um, the further uh, the zombie is away from the from the shot where you, where you shoot it. So he doesn't he doesn't try to get a tight horde, he just shoot whenever he wants and uh, that's not the way No Man's Land meant to be played. And even then, when he doesn't get a tight horde like that, he doesn't get any crawlers whatsoever. He has this theory that when you are on the teleporter that the zombies health won't increase after the buzzer because for the guys who doesn't know um, about No Man's Land every time the buzzer uh, goes off uh, the zombies health increase and he has this theory that if you stand on the teleporter for like three seconds the, the zombies health won't increase but that's proven wrong I mean the, the game is out three years now and um, we would have found it out already so let's continue uh, with with the theory about uh, about points. Look at his points. How how low on points he is after he finishes his game. Every guy that played No Man's Land that got over 350 kills got over 20,000 points. Yeah, you're you're right, Himeto. As you said before, if you want to do a perfect game, No Man's Land, uh, you have to get uh, as many good spawns as you can. And he got like six bad spawns, and that's completely weird. Okay, can you explain for the people that don't play No Man's Land that much, uh, what is the bad spawn? What do you mean by bad spawn? The bad spawns, you can only get like uh, one or two bad spawns in one game if you want to get 370. There's no way to get 370 with like uh, five or six bad spawns. Yeah, so bad spawn is uh, something where where zombies spawn really slow, like they come from the ground and from their spawns like really slowly, and usually that happens when you kill them slow, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You have to kill them really fast so you won't have bad spawns. Do you think he kills them really fast in his game? Um, not at all, not at all, Mato. He finished his game like in 13 minutes, and in 13 minutes you will need like 
13 or 12 bullets to kill one wave and he killed all of them with 8 or 9 bullets. That's so weird. Exactly, exactly. And uh, there is the part uh, that is um, kind of questionable and we have proof that uh, it's not really how it should work in No Man's Land. So even if you get the tightest horde possible, you still get sometimes crawlers. In his game, he doesn't get crawlers at all. Exactly. Like, that's, that's really confusing and it never, never happened in No Man's Land history. And I've watched a lot of No Man's Land and I think Alvar does too. Let's get to the concrete examples, uh, so at 12 minutes 27 mark of his video, he's trying to kill a couple of zombies so he get the extra zombie spawning, but there's uh, one zombie coming uh, from very far away that has full health and uh, the zombies that are in his group are already damaged. And when he finishes uh, his ammo, all the zombies are dead and uh, even though the zombie that just come has full health and it just doesn't make any sense that they wouldn't die together because they were already damaged like with four or five shots he only had five shots uh, more and that wouldn't be enough to kill that one zombie that uh, was there yeah there's also another example the mark of uh, 11a this uh, horror was killed uh, with six bullets i think and um, there's a slow zombie that is coming and, and he didn't even get hit but the, with the last two bullets, he killed him with only two bullets. And that, it doesn't make any sense, man, I know. He didn't even make a tight horde. He killed the zombie with two bullets, that's the main thing. Yeah, so Alvar is trying to say that uh, there was one zombie in the cage um, that was walking and uh, when, when he was shooting the horde uh, outside, he didn't damage uh, that one walker that was inside and uh, only the last two shots affected um, that walker and uh, he died like with two shots even though the the rest of the zombies it took six shots to kill them so that doesn't make sense you can say ps3 is glitchy but not this much like this is too much <laughs> uh, i think these two examples and uh, all the things that we say i mean you can check every no man's land 360 370 plus run you will see everybody plays faster than this everybody 12 minutes it's way too much you have to spend all your ammo under 10 minutes 30 seconds because with each buzzer it takes more bullets so he wouldn't be able to kill that many so how does he glitch hack or whatever or mod i don't i don't know what kind of stuff it is i don't really understand me or alvar but it is pretty well hidden and um he just turned the stuff on and off um i guess and uh you can tell us a little bit about his history, Alvar. Uh, how do you see this player? And, uh, was he legit before or did he hack before or how was it with him? No, this guy actually had a lot of games before. Every time he, he doesn't know, or he fails, he disconnected, he is gone. I mean, he cannot get a high round, he always finish hacking. And that's not good, man, that's ridiculous, that's... Horrible, you know what I mean? So let's say when he, when he G spawns or he disconnects, so he just he just say screw that, um, I didn't get my goal, so I'm gonna hack now because I deserve that round, right? Exactly. Okay, I mean, and we all have these disconnections sometimes, but there's no reason to hack or to cheat in game. I mean, you can say that this is just a game, but we are a community, and uh, I think we together care as a community, and there there should be. Uh, place for legit players and you can see for example look at every black ops or world at war um, the older code leaderboards even black ops 2 leaderboards they're all hacked with these kind of people and thanks to the zombie record site we at least have something legit and we don't want that to be affected with these type of people and i have nothing against this guy um i'm not hating on him i'm just uh, analyzing his gameplay with with alvar and here is our point of view, so yeah, I think uh, we summed it up pretty well. Um, do you want to add anything more, Alvar, to this? Yeah, I have to explain another thing. Every time he shoots, he shoots two bullets, and with those two bullets, he gets 1000 points. Uh, which doesn't make any sense, because you have to get more points than 1000 points, because 20 multiplied by 50 is 
a thousand points, which are the points that you get by killing one horror with one bullet. But he gets a thousand points with two bullets every time, every wave. That's why I have a theory that he puts his sallies, the damage, very high. So only one sally works and the other sally doesn't work. You know, the one that works is the one that killed the zombies. And the other sally doesn't work because he actually killed them before with the other bullets, you know? So he gets only a thousand points. I think it's pretty clear from this video, I mean, uh, we showed um, all the proof that we got and all the things that we found out. So, I mean, uh, it's up to you guys, so uh, let us know in the comments. And yeah, we're out of here, so the world is gonna belong hopefully to legit players. Peace out guys, thanks for watching. This has been Alvar and Meiro. Alright guys, if that wasn't enough proof for you, here's uh, one of the messages I got. This one comes from uh, the great zombie strategist known as 5 and 5. After watching Wings of Oblivion's 378 No Man's Land game for the first time, it was quite clear that there was something at miss with it. Then after a second playthrough and some google searching, I realized that this game was definitely not played legit. I found that there is a mod on PS3 that allows you to toggle insta-kill on off using the d-pad. I am quite certain that this is how he cheated and why he never leaves any crawlers even with bad shot placement. There is much evidence of this in the video, for example at 348 uh, in the time reference of his video, he has 650 points, then after shooting the horde he has 1600 points. So total gain of 950 points, this means he killed 19 zombies, which means 50 points per zombie, without damaging the 20th. If he damaged the 20th zombie, he would have gained 960, 10 points for hitting the last zombie. He then goes on and kills that undamaged zombie with one knife, 150 damage, which is impossible at this time in the game as it normally takes two sally shots, 1000 damage each. There are many cases of him killing zombies that he shouldn't be able to in this video, this was just the most obvious example. Also you can see him constantly bring up the d-pad way before he even shoots. On two occasions, right before shooting, I really doubt you would hit the reload button twice as he knows. The gun is already reloaded and a reload usually occurs straight after shots are fired. So why would the d-pad pop up like that? You also can notice him consistent having to take a momentary pause which seems like him moving his thumb to click the d-pad. After all this proof against him we can safely say that this game is 100% unlegit and will not be going on zombie records.